one of the first things that stood out to me um, when I got into the space is the, the price of identity checks is quite high. And this impacts the self-sovereign industry as well, because a lot of different SSI projects or a lot of different um, you know, projects that try to launch SSI are often downstream from ID check vendors. And what I mean by that is, at the moment, how do you currently originate SSI credentials? Um, now, if it's an original document, uh, such as when my, uh, you know, one of our one of our co-founders within the company, Fraser, when he was working with the Dutch and Canadian governments on making travel possible between Canada and in that case, it's the original agency or the government agency itself that was issuing a credential. But what what happens when you don't have that original authority or the body that issues your credential, how do you go prove that? And typically what happens is um, just like right now, or just like how ID checks are done right now, um, the holder often has to provide PDF or paper documents or other certified documents, which are then run through with the identity verification API providers that exist around the world. Um, and that kind of check typically takes anywhere between minutes to weeks, depending on how automated it is or how uh, complex the check that you're carrying out is. And it often costs a fair amount of money as well per check as it goes along. And what that sort of like, you know, brings us to is um, in, in a lot of different conversations that I've had, like it's, it's a real problem for SSI projects because they're often downstream from providers like the Onfidos, the Trulios, and, and other ID checking services companies around the world, or they're carrying out the check manually by their own employees, there's a cost associated with carrying out the, or verifying that information that is being presented by the user. And just to give like a couple of different benchmarks, um, if you think about a basic KYC check, which is a selfie scan check, take a selfie, um, take a picture of your passport, and then it runs through through one of these providers that costs roughly anywhere between five to ten dollars. Um, a criminal record check, if which is a much more deeper enhanced check, costs anywhere between fifty dollars to hundred dollars. Um, and then maybe if you go into more complex things like company background checks, then that can range anywhere between hundreds to thousands of dollars. But that's just the direct cost associated with carrying out that check, which the ID verification providers are charging. Quite often when um, there's a company that wants to issue SSI credentials, not only will they have to spend money on carrying out the basic check, but they'll have to go buy software or you know, all, a lot of us on the call might be from SSI companies. They'll have to go buy that particular software. They'll have to go do digital transformation to enable and change their processes to issue SSI credentials. Um, and they might even need to carry out a whole bunch of stuff within their own organization that has an added cost to them. So it's not necessarily just about covering the cost of the infrastructure, which in the case of DIDs, for instance, could be, you know, low. Uh, but it's also about like, you know, when you get down to the level of like actual credentials itself, what is that figure and what is that amount? And so what we sort of like, you know, you know, envision within this, you know, space that can actually make SSI effective is if it was possible to have a privacy preserving credential that could be somehow charged um, and the per charge sort of like, you know, check is significantly lower than uh, what you have in identification as you do it right now, the cost of that is spread out over multiple users. So for instance, if a company, uh, let's say a bank has just been followed uh, and they issued me a credential that they can, that I can go reuse somewhere else. Um, but that is a credential that I own and I can choose whom to share with. And I go and use that five times uh, at the cost of say $1 to the receiving organization. The receiving organization has therefore received that like ID or verified ID at one fifth the cost of like what it would have um, cost them to go with something like a non-fido. Um, I've had the ability to share that easily and port that data across. 
um, while the while giving an incentive for the issuer themselves to be able to have a reason to go issue the SSI credentials in the first place. Uh, 